My name is Marc Diederich. I am originally from Luxembourg, where I started my research. And since 2012, I'm a professor of biochemistry at Seoul National University in South Korea, where I investigate the biological effects of various pharmacologically interesting compounds, some of them of natural origins. So, Mark, one angle of your research is to understand the effect of natural anti-cancer drugs on our immune systems. Is that right? Yes, this is a very uh, new and emerging topic as it was shown that selected compounds of natural origins are able to um, damage cancer cells in a very specific way. So they induce the so-called immunogenic cell death. And during this cell death process, uh, the cells are starting to release proteins that are able to attract uh, members of the immune system, like the macrophages, for example. Mm -hmm. So this is sometimes called eat me signals or find me signals. And uh, this sounds actually very interesting as a future anti-cancer perspective if one would be able to treat cancer in a way uh, the immune system becomes aware of the cancer cells and in a quite natural uh, way destroys them by the immunological cells we have in our body. Right, that's the immune system doing what it's naturally intended to do, right? Unfortunately, yeah. cancer cells are hiding so that mm. these fine signals are usually not presented to the immune system so that the immune system is to some extent blind. So what we are now uh, very interested to find out is which are the compounds that would be the most interesting drugs to um, reveal the cancer cells to the immune system. These compounds are actually well known. Some of them are well known. They are used uh, for years actually uh, on patients already. Really? In some patients, these compounds generated an, uh, a very good response. In other patients, they did not. And actually, the specificities of the patient's immune system could, in fact, make the difference. It would be interesting with, for example, selecting natural compounds to co-treat and to activate in a more strong way the uh, release of these uh, proteins in order to stimulate in patients where the drug did not work yet to stimulate much better the immune system. So the natural compounds as cofactors reactivating the immune system. I see. And do natural compounds have a greater capacity to do that? Well, in general, nature is very rich in uh, scaffolds, chemical scaffolds uh -huh. that have biological function already. Mm -hmm. And um, so they were selected over thousands and probably millions of years. So there's a very rich repertoire of interesting compounds. And uh, in fact, now, uh, one of the aims would be to discover which ones would be the inducers of the immunogenic cells. Some of these compounds are already known, like natural compounds, like uh, uh, cardiac glycosides, drugs that were used against congestive heart disease, and more recently by our lab also against cancer, appear to be interesting inducers of this type of cancer cell death immune reaction. Mm -hmm. So. The challenge right now is obviously to detect which structural features these molecules should have. One notices that some are very cytotoxic, but not very immunogenic, and some other are perhaps less toxic, but induce the immune system in a much more efficient way. So these are really challenges now to come up with interesting compounds that would really um, improve anti-cancer treatment in many patients without specifically incre increasing the cost of the treatment. As some of the more recent targeted therapies are very, very expensive. Yes, yes, very important point.